begins before sunrise. Workstations are powered on, tools are ready, and Shapiro and Duncan workers anticipate the project ahead. Long before this day of the raw materials arrival, plans have been drawn, scrutinized, and optimized for maximum efficiency. Our designers have labored tirelessly to conceptualize and assemble digitally the entire industrial HVAC system, piece by piece, before the first length of raw pipe ever arrived at our fabrication shop in Landover, Maryland. Driven by a desire for the highest quality product at the best value for our customer, great care has been taken to ensure waste has been minimized and the entire system has been designed for a lifetime of maximum efficiency in this critical installation a hospital. This will be accomplished by Shapiro and Duncan's expertly trained team. This is the journey from the digital artboard of conceptualization to the finished product installed and in service. This is the life of Pipe. Once the physical installation of Spool 53 has been completed, there is still much work to be done. Workers have insulated and labeled all of the pipes to help ensure temperature consistency throughout various parts of the system. Now that the pipes have been protected and labeled, it is time to test for any faults that may be hiding in the system. This is a tremendous undertaking as there are thousands of fittings connecting the system to motors, condensers, filters, fluid reservoirs, exhaust vents, intake vents, and fans in this installation. This is not to mention the miles of ductwork woven throughout the structure to distribute the temperature-regulated air. Shapiro and Duncan workers now test the pressure in various parts of the system. Adjusting parameters of individual elements as they work, they calibrate the system to maximum performance and protect against any initial defect that could develop into a larger problem in future years. There are sensors throughout the system that help to maximize performance and efficiency. These sensors also report their status to the main control panel. This is a crucial function of a large HVAC system. In the central plant annex, located across the parking lot from the hospital, there are more critical pieces of equipment to tend to. First, the fans atop the cooling tower are spun up and are tested for proper speed and functionality. The fans that exhaust the heat from the system are over 10 feet across and are each driven by a 75 horsepower motor. Fan speed is a variable function, which is controlled by variable frequency drives, which are calibrated, and the data they report is interpreted by Shapiro and Duncan technicians and the manufacturer. Once they are properly programmed, they are ready to be integrated into the system. Beneath the cooling tower is the sump basin, which is the cooling tower's water reservoir. Here is where water is collected after the heat is removed from evaporation as the water flows down the fill and the fans force air through the intake louvers across the fill collecting in the basin below. In the basin, the water is filtered through screens to remove debris captured in the section of open loop and flows back into the system to a heat exchanger where it will remove heat from the closed chilled water loop. Back in the hospital, there is more to inspect on the rooftop. Workers enter all of the chiller rooms to visually inspect the condition of the filters and machinery. The filter racks here are over 12 feet tall and 20 feet long. These filters are similar to what would be included in a residential HVAC installation, but are substantially larger since they handle a much greater volume of air. There are two stages of filtration beginning with a MERV 8 and progressing through a MERV 11 rack. It is critical that no airborne dirt or particulate matter pass into the air supply to the hospital. There are dozens of motors here powering fans to force air around the system and are contained in isolated compartments in the rooms for the safety of personnel performing maintenance on the equipment while the system is running. The ductwork has been insulated and runs side by side with the pipes carrying water to and from the chillers on the rooftop. These pipes and ducts run vertically floor to floor from the roof to the basement to facilitate the distribution of water and air between components. Chillers here are identical to the chillers located in the basement, but exist in two places for system redundancy. When the technicians are satisfied that all of the individual components of the system are functioning properly, it is time to test the system as a whole and turn on the AC. Without our Spool 53, 
there would be no water returning to the chiller, which would give the system no way to have the constant influx of fluid that is required to later cool the air, and the system would cease to function. Although the impressive size of Spool 53 seems to signify a great importance, the same crippling effects of a missing component would be true of any piece of this well-designed system. The goal of 100% uptime is far from impossible when such great care has been taken to ensure that every part of the HVAC system from beginning to end has been carefully designed, installed, tested, and commissioned to complete a system that is sure to run trouble-free for years to come. At Shapiro & Duncan, we take care to design, fabricate, and install HVAC systems with quality ever in mind. When the work is completed by our team of technicians, operators, and designers, we produce less waste, offer higher quality installation, and better value to our clients. Our commitment to the highest standard of care is evident throughout the system. From the first line drawn in the digital world to the end user enjoying the comfort level provided, Spool 53 played a major role in this specific installation, but so do all of our pipes and people. They are all crafted with the same level of care and attention to detail, whether they are 42 feet long or small enough to be lifted with one hand. It is this level of dedication to our craft that promises you, the customer, the best possible product.